What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, and there's a reason why we're in gloves, we're gonna be doing a modification. So tomorrow, we're gonna be heading over to your motor performance, and we're gonna be adding a part back onto my car. The reason why I took it off because I had to do some warranty service on the car, and I couldn't have this on the car because it could have threw a red flag on uh, the service. So check this out. This is a Muzzleman oil thermostat. And as you can see, it's a little oily. Um, I got this used from Octavio and pretty much that car was a garage queen. He used to have an F80 M3 and it was a Daytona Violet. It was a gorgeous car, uh, but he has then since moved on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back into the bag, load up the car for tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna start early um, because I do have to get there early in the morning. Um, the car has to be cool enough for the technicians to kind of work on it. So what I'm gonna do is get there early, let the car rest, and get my camera gear set up from whenever they're ready to uh, start installing this on. So I'm excited. I've been so busy, and you know, Dwayne's been busy at Euro Motor Performance, but uh, he was able to fit me into his schedule, and we're gonna get this started tomorrow. Um, I'm also gonna be filming another video, which you may see or may not see, so we'll see. But on that note, I'll check you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Next morning, I got my coffee right here. I'm gonna be sipping on it until we're gonna be leaving actually in a little bit. We're gonna be heading over to your motor performance, like I said early in the video, and we're gonna be going there to get the Muzzle Man thermostat installed on F80 M3. And when we get there, we're gonna deep dive into it and exactly what it is and what's the benefits and why you should maybe look into it. So on that note, we'll see you guys on the next clip. So I do want to point out uh, we've been driving for maybe about 25 minutes, 20 minutes, and we're not too far from your mode performance. And as you can see on my gauge right now, the operating temperature is just below 250, and that's a normal operating temperature, uh, regardless if it's a hot day or anything like that, maybe just a little bit higher. All right, good morning, guys. We are at your mode performance. Got my car back here. Uh, they are located in Hollandale Beach, Florida. So like I said, it's going to be a two-part video. The first part of the video, if you guys are looking at this one, it's going to be the Muzzle Man thermostat installation. And we're going to go inside and get that done. Additionally, on the second video, if you guys haven't watched that, uh, it's going to be posted later on. It's going to be basically trying to figure out exactly what that clicking noise is. is. Um, and it's probably going to be the strut pinch bolt that uh, F80 Ho was able to let me know a few months ago. So hopefully that, that's it and there's nothing else catastrophic. And we can kind of go... Uh, move forward from there and continue modding. I try to wipe all the tears away I don't know why I'm crying My heart's okay, I don't hurt so bad I'm just mourning the time that I lost Don't tell me I can have it when I want it Don't tell me I can have it when I want it Killing time and waiting 
All right, guys, so as you can see from the footage, Marlin's basically installing the muzzle man thermostat. He's actually doing a pretty good job. It's actually pretty clean. Also, too, if you guys are looking at the video and you guys are wondering where my, where's my intake, where's my charge pipes, I had to take all those things out earlier, I would say a few months ago, because I had to get some warranty work done. So I do want to deep dive into what the muzzle man uh, thermostat does. Uh, based on their website, what they were saying is the normal thermostat that comes with the vehicle, it lowers the temperature, it keeps the temperature roughly about 120 degrees Celsius. With the muzzle man thermostat, you're looking about uh, 20 degrees uh, Celsius taken off, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, like I said early in the video. So this is very significant, especially if you have a tuned car and a car that's heavily modded. It's always good to have your car running a bit cooler. And for the ones that live in a hot area, like I live in South Florida, California, things like that, it's definitely keep your car cooler. It's better for the longevity of the motor itself. If you're the type of person that takes this car on the track and uh, or even like autocross, uh, put in the car and high demand, this is maybe something that you want to add to your vehicle too because like I said, it keeps the temperatures lower. And as you know, uh, having a lower temperature for your vehicle is less strain on the motor and stuff like that. And also the key components. Uh, one more thing too, the muzzle mine thermostat keeps it roughly in a stable range of 100 degrees Celsius. Um, and that's what they, that's what it's made for. So that's what it does and it kind of keeps it stable. And you can see significantly later on when we take a drive, I'm gonna show you my uh, dash or my cluster, and you're gonna see where the thermostat goes to when it's on operating temperatures. As you saw earlier in the video, we had it at maybe two bars um, from the bottom, which is where it normally operates, even with the OEM uh, thermostat. So once this is all done, I'm gonna show you guys exactly where it lands, and you're gonna be very surprised. So as you can see, it's pretty much a plug and play. Uh, it doesn't really take a lot of effort. Me personally, I hate working on my car and I'll admit it, I'll let the professionals do it and I like recording for you guys and making content. Um, but it's also something that maybe you should look into yourself. It's a simple modification. I think it roughly costs about $385 plus tax and shipping. So there's many different areas you could buy it from. Maybe hit up your motor performance. They could probably get you a, a better deal than some other places. Get your rolling, baby. Catch it. Alright guys, just got done at your motor performance and right now I'm going to be heading home starving, haven't had lunch or breakfast, but uh, check this out. So remember how I told you guys that the operating temperature is going to be dropped down by significantly? So I've been driving the car for about 25 minutes and it's at operating temperature, so check this out. This is insane. So just looking at it, let me know what you guys think. I think it is pretty insane that it dropped it by uh, a significantly probably one full bar. Like I said, this is no gimmick. It actually does something uh, performance wise for your car uh, to keep the engine healthy. And I'm glad to have it back onto the car. But if you guys have any questions or comments, or if you guys have it, let me know and let me know what you guys think about it. So other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys can, hit the thumbs up. It really helps my small channel grow. But other than that, I'll see you guys next week on the next video. Peace.